are talking to Kinney Drugs pharmacist Haley Hooks, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the COVID-19 vaccine. And folks have plenty of questions about the vaccines, and I have some of them written down here that I want to run by you, Haley. Um, what is the mRNA, and how do mRNA vaccines work? So Sarah, I think the best explanation that I can give you is that an mRNA vaccine refers to a messenger uh, RNA. And as its name implies, a messenger RNA is part of our genetic material, if you will, inside of a cell that's responsible for making a protein outside the cell. So these COVID-19 vaccines are the newer type, if you will, of mRNA vaccines which actually are helping to uh, give instructions to our body to make a certain protein, which happens to be this nasty looking spike protein found on the surface of the COVID-19 virus. And when we give these vaccines, they're harmless and our bodies just basically recognize that it's a foreign uh, protein, if you will, and we start making antibodies and we develop the immune response that are that's needed in order for us to uh, fight against uh, COVID-19. I think of it as, and I tell a lot of my patients, I think of it as it's basically recognizing someone that has a very particular hat on. Our bodies are able to do that. Now, is this the the one shot or the two shot? Is there a difference? Is is any one of them better than the other? Um, so right now we have three different vaccines on the market. We have the Pfizer BioNTech, which is the initial vaccine. And then you get a booster shot, um, a 21 days after the first vaccine. And then we have the Moderna, which, uh, is given as an initial vaccine. And then 28 days later, you get another booster. And then the newest vaccine, which is the AD26, or they commonly referred to as Johnson and Johnson vaccine. It's only a one-time vaccine. Uh, and, you know, all in all, if you look at the efficacy and safety behind each and every one of these vaccines, they're very comparable to each other. There's not a lot of distinction there. So what I tell folks who's come in and say, which one should I get? Which one should I get? Get whatever one you can get is the okay. answer. To okay. And what can people expect when they come in to get their vaccination? Well, as far as the process or as far as side effects, I guess, where would you like me to go with that? All of the above. Like, <laughs> should, the they, above, right. should, they, should so, we call yeah. first, you know, should, call first to make an appointment? Right. Or is it, it's not a walk-in at this point? No, unfortunately not. Yeah. I'd love it to be that way, but no. Uh, all online or all registration for appointments is done online right now. And you're making your appointment ahead of time, obviously you're coming into the pharmacy or the designated place that you've chosen to get your vaccine. There is a questionnaire that is done with you, a vaccine consent form that is done with you at the time of your uh, arrival. And also very important to know, especially with kidney drugs, we do the appointment for your next vaccine right there on the spot. So we're making sure that whatever vaccine you're getting, the proper time is allotted outward to get the next vaccine for you. And, uh, you know, you come and you sit in my waiting area, which we have strategically placed all of our chairs six feet apart, and you wait for the pharmacist to call you in. And if it's me, I call you in, we have a little conversation, you know, that's where a lot of times I'm answering a lot of questions about what, you know, about my patients' concerns or fears or whatever they have going on. The vaccine is given, and then uh, you're waiting between 15 and 30 minutes in my lobby, depending on the history that you may have had with any type of allergic reactions before. And then after that, you're free to go, and then you come back at your uh, next scheduled appointment for that booster shot. Okay. Yeah, I did want to talk to you a little bit about um, allergic reactions. If, yeah. if someone has a sensitivity to sulfa or has had a previous allergic reaction to a flu shot, let's say. Um, what is your advice to them? I think it's really important that folks know that there are there's no eggs, there are no latex involved in the manufacturing of this vaccine, unlike the flu vaccine, where we have some concerns about that. 
the uh, COVID-19 vaccines really um, have been designed to be given to everyone, with the exception of a few populations of folks that we have just been really careful about. And like you're referring to those people that have had severe allergic reactions to any of the ingredients that are found in this vaccine, primarily polysorbate and polyethylene glycol are the two ingredients that we're looking at. And, um, you know, if they've had those severe reactions, then they are not to get the vaccine. Also folks that have, uh, are, are, are actively fighting the COVID-19 infection, those folks at this point should not be getting the vaccine. And also the folks who've had a prior reaction to the first vaccine, we do not recommend they get a vac the second, obviously, dose of vaccine because of that. Um, so those are the no's list that we can't, we don't want to give the vaccine to. The people that we don't exclude, but we ask for them to contact their healthcare provider uh, to just make sure they're weighing the benefit versus risk um, from getting the, the vaccine are, you know, folks who are pregnant and breastfeeding and those who have autoimmune conditions and may require immunosuppressive drugs for that. Okay, that's good to know. Now, um, are there any side effects when you, when you get the injection? You know, some people have absolutely no side effects. Um, you know, and then there are some population of folks that are having some side effects. They're relatively mild, I would say. The, the more things, the most things I'm, I'm hearing from the patients I'm dealing with is muscle soreness, uh, injection site pain, which is very common for vaccination anyways, uh, headaches, and just being tired, generally just kind of lethargic from getting the vaccine. I think it's just your body's natural way of dealing with what it's getting too. It's, these are side effects that are normal. They're very normal. They don't last more than 24 to 48 hours, but they're extremely normal. Uh, well, let you know that it's working. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So you can and, take some uh, comfort in that anyway. Right, right, right. So how, uh, you know, oh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just to say that, you know, another good point to bring up, and I've had this question come up quite a bit is, you know, should I pre-dose with myself with ibuprofen or acetaminophen before I go in for my vaccination? It is not recommended to do that at this point to, you know, try to prevent those side effects from happening. When the side effects happen is when the best time it is to kind of determine what types of medications we're going to use for that particular reaction. So if you can try not to take anything before you come in, that's preferred right now. Oh, that's, that's great advice. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have yeah. thought, thought about that. So appreciate that. Now, yes. how do I sign up to get a vaccination? Oh, super simple. Uh, www.kinneydrugs.com for starters is a perfect place to come to get your vaccination. There are other places that you can uh, look into. The Vermont Department of Health obviously does their own vaccinations. Um, but yeah, kidneys, I know it's extremely frustrating. I can tell you for one that that's a lot of what I'm hearing. People are impatient and I get it, understandably so, with a vaccine so effective like this one. And the fact that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, the, the patience is just, it, it's hard. It's hard to, to, to kind of muddle through right now, but keep trying because we keep opening up more windows and the scheduling keeps getting wider and wider and wider for all kinds of different uh, categories of population of people. But yes, www.kinneydrugs.com. And will it I let think. us know? I, I know that we're doing it by age bands. Um, yes. On the website, will it let us yeah. know who's who's allowed for the vaccination now? Or Sure. You can find the information there. I find that another useful place to go for information or to get weekly updates on what is actually going on in the pharmacy level as far as uh, population of folks that we're vaccinating is to text COVID to 51094. And it's a lovely little tool, I think, as far as just being up to date on what's going on. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We've been speaking with Kinney Drugs Pharmacist Haley Hooks about COVID-19 vaccinations. Thank you very much. And again, go to kinneydrugs.com to set up your appointment. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it.